Jude's and I are headed out. They've got energy to burn. So, we're gonna go. One of them is ready. <laughs> we're going, buddy, we're going. <laughs> dudes and I came out to do some exploring and basically burn off their energy which is what we're always out here for um, which is a benefit so I brought they're around there somewhere you can kind of see them back there I brought them out here um, if I would have known how to manage them before I got them we'd have gotten along much earlier so it took me a little bit of time but we're here and um, now I'm pretty good at managing their energy levels and dealing with their personalities. So here we go. Managing a GSP's energy level is probably one of the hardest things that I had to figure out. Um, but they have to be exercised both mind and body. And so with their body exercise, usually they need to run at full speed for at least an hour. Um, and that's every single day. So sometimes that means we play fetch. Sometimes that means I bring them out here and we run all over. But usually it means I'm doing something with them while they run around and I just wander with them, which is actually kind of a perk because it gets me out more than um, I maybe would have otherwise. Um, but you also have to do their mind too. So we play a lot of fetch or um, a lot of training things my husband will do for hunting. Um, just overall trying to keep their mind going as well because they have to be exercised in both ways in order to keep them happy every single day. And happy GSPs are happy owners. <laughs> so I think that's how the saying goes. Benny, come on Benny. Benny, come. Benny, come. When I had just one GSP, everybody always told me that it would be easier if you had two, it'd be easier if you had two. I heard that over and over. So I got a second and let me tell you, it is not easier. Two GSPs are not easier than one. So instead I just ended up with twice the energy, twice the crazy, twice the noise. Um, yes, it's true that they play together, which is really great. Um, but that just means the playing can sometimes be so loud that you can't carry on a conversation or watch TV or whatever it else is that you wanted to do. So two GSPs, not easier than one. It's just double the crazy, double the fun. So. <laughs> GSPs have such personalities that are on polar opposite ends, I feel like, because they are such badass hunters in the field. And then they can be extreme cuddlers when they are not hunting. And so they're almost like borderline babies when they're not hunting. They sleep by our sides. They always want to cuddle. When we only had Bentley, he would constantly nudge his nose underneath our hands to be touched or cuddled or petted. They sleep in our bed every night, which probably isn't the best thing to do, but they do and that's just the way it is. And um, basically, if you like to relax and do something else while you're relaxing, um, you may have to make sure that you can do that thing with one hand because the other hand will always be petting a dog. And then if you have two of them, I'm pretty sure that GSPs believe, or at least mine do, that I have two hands, that I have two hands to pet two dogs. So I don't know if that's true or not, but they seem to think so. And so I don't really get to do much else when I'm relaxing, if I'm ever relaxing, because well, I have two GSPs. <laughs> So 
so when I decided to get a dog, I always knew that I deal with dog hair and that's fine. That doesn't really bother me. Um, the GSPs that we have, the color is called liver and roan. Basically means they have white and brown hair. Um, so if you're wearing white pants, they have a brown hair for that. And if you're wearing brown or black pants, they have a white hair for that. So basically you're always going to be covered in the hair of your dogs, which is super exciting. So something to deal with, but I actually really don't mind. So it's part of owning a dog. So if you come over, you are gonna end up with dog hair on your outfit. So sorry, not sorry. butts back there. <laughs> Overall, I would never uh, change my mind about owning a GSP. I'm glad that this is what we got. They are super good looking breed and they are so much fun to watch hunt when they're out in the field. Um, these are just a few things I've had to figure out along the way in order for us to get along. And overall, um, I wouldn't change these little badass cuddlers for anything. So if you are considering a GSP, just know that it comes with a different level of management and understanding and do your research and have fun because I love it. All right, so I think I'm gonna get these two packed up and we're gonna head home. So come on boys. <laughs> We're out! <laughs>